Welcome, Welcome back, back to, to the, the channel. channel. What's your boy, Sam? Carly Seth. As y'all see by the title, you already know we had to do my turn. So if you guys watched last video, so basically. Make sure I go watch that one. I'm sorry to interrupt, but y'all have to go watch that one. Like, literally. It was good. It was good. She basically asked for juicy questions that women are afraid to ask guys. So vice versa, I'm asking the juicy questions that guys are supposedly scared to ask the women. I can't wait to ask these questions. <laughs> but I didn't get all the questions that I wanted to ask because she of said course. because she said she wanted to do a group video with this. Yes. I believe that would be Y'all that video is gonna be lit. It's gonna be very raw and lit. That's gonna be Oh really my gosh, good. it's gonna be hilarious. Alright y'all so enough talking let's, let's go. go. So first question, I got to get this out the way because every guy wants to know, does penis size matter? <laughs> what? Does penis size matter? I mean, I heard matter? you. I just wasn't expecting that to be the first question. Oh, I know you did it. <laughs> oh, guys, you're going to love um, me on this video. I, um, I got the questions. Trust me. I got it. Um, so I don't feel like it, do it does, but then it doesn't. Like... It just depends. I feel like I, I don't really have like a solid answer. It just really depends. Well, let me stop you on it. It doesn't. What you mean by it doesn't? So you're saying somebody can have three inches. And that, that's what I'm know. saying. Like, y'all be acting stupid with that. Like, I never, ever, we ever wanna, heard we wanna, of anyone ever at that. We want to hear from a woman's standpoint. Does, I mean, does obviously, like, matter? we wouldn't be really having too much intercourse. Like, I mean, I don't know. Okay. Like, I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. I, I don't know. I never experienced it. So if you experienced it, comment below and let us know. <laughs> Cause I haven't. Um, I mean, just like you know, I've had like certain guys like send me pictures and videos and all that other weird stuff. You guys already know, like, don't do that. Like us females, we really don't like that. Unless, I never unless someone, did that. unless we ask. Ever. Like, don't do that. Like, I randomly on Snapchat and then try to get our attention. Like, that's weird. Don't do that. That's like perverted. So it's like. You know, I've seen, you know, guys have, like, you know, um, like, you know, 10, 12, or whatever, like, 10 you or seen more. You 12-inch I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I didn't take a You've seen a 12-inch before, I don't man. know. I didn't take a ruler and go see, like, someone, like, it was definitely, like, crazy. And I was like, oh, like, alrighty then. It's not, not for me. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I've definitely seen something, but, like, that's just, like, too much. Like, that's just... Too oh, much. So we, I feel like just like average in the middle is cool. Like it's just cool in the middle. And also like women, like we always don't like just sexual intercourse. We like to have you know just you know other things besides intercourse. Like we like to do like different stuff. You know what I'm saying? Like we like to just play around and just do other stuff. Okay. I'm not gonna get all into before that. Before we but leave, y'all know what I'm talking before about. Before we leave this question, it's not all about bam, bam, pow, pow. Like sometimes girls just wanna take it slow and not do that all the time. You guys are like, oh, whoa, you look fine as hell today. Let's just oh, smack that ass and let's go. Like females don't always wanna get into that part every time. So I guess average, uh, does penis size matter? I mean, I guess it, I mean, I just said it depends. I mean, or? average is fine, but I'm just saying, like, I don't know. That's my answer. Okay, that's cool. I guess it's not a clear answer, but it doesn't, it just depends. If you go on a date, does the guy have to pay? If you ask me on a date, yes. Okay. Why would you ask me on a date and I'm paying for my stuff? That's weird. What if the girl asks you, uh, the guy on the date, does she have to pay? I mean, that's how it should go, right? She would pay for him. I mean, I don't know what if. What I mean, she would can, still can pay, they for just her, pay for or, herself, or she, or she just pays for herself. But I'm saying, like, naturally, like a woman, if a guy asks me on a date, like I'm not paying. for I that. mean, yeah, to me, yeah, that's natural. Yeah, if I ask a girl I've, I've on seen, a date, yeah, I'm a pay. I've definitely seen where like a guy has asked a woman on a date and, and they both pay for each other. He, he, well, he didn't themselves. pay for herself. Like, then I'm not going on a date with you. Well, you That's know, weird. I mean, you know, a lot of people look at it different, though. Like, what I mean, if it's yeah, but I like just that? told you how I did. So don't ask me on a date, and you're not paying for nothing because I'm not coming. So you think? I mean, average, I'm, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just walk out, and then you're still gonna have to pay for it, or you're gonna walk out too. So average women, they would like the guy to pay. Yes. I heard of y'all. Make sure y'all go pay, man. Make sure, I mean, <laughs> wherever you take them, make sure you know you got the pockets for where you take them, and 
they want you to pay. What's the biggest turnoff for a woman? I would say immature. Being immature. Be being very immature and childish. Um, just I feel like that's a major one and just not having any goals or anything for your life like that's like stupid and just being a bum no I don't <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean also, that, goes, that goes along I mean, with not having I mean, goals I mean also like just guys that like if you don't know how to dress like that's a major turn off that's just personally for me I have a lot of different ones like if you don't know how to dress if you can't dress, if your personal hygiene is nasty, then I just cannot be with you. Well, you listen to multiple um, things already. But keep going. Cannot be with you. Another turn off is like if you don't know how to cook. If you don't know how to cook and you don't try to learn how to cook, like I don't like that. And you know that that's something that you do, and it just it, of course I'm saying they already know. They should know by it's now. Not, if you've been watching our videos for a long time, since you brought it up, it's know. not that I don't know how to cook it's just, just you don't, don't even show any yeah. effort but you like to eat i know but you, it's like i know you got you don't me even so want to help me in the kitchen to cook and it's just like that just like why are you capping so pushes hard me off hey peel the potatoes hey do this i'll be helping you once a month bro bro he's capping like i'm just saying i'm just i'm not even trying to get into all that i'm just saying like i in general like like, if a guy knows how to cook, like, I love when a guy knows how to cook. Like, that's like, ooh, yes. Like, he about to cook me something. Like, like if you ever cook me something, like, I get happy. But, like, you, I don't even remember the last time you even cooked me anything. I, sometimes I ask you, but when I don't, I, think, when I don't I think you it, think I'm serious. So No, you shouldn't you have to. I shouldn't anyways. have to ask you. You shouldn't have to ask me. You should just go in there and do it. Like, don't you think, like, us women are tired of cooking every single day, every single day? I respect that. I, I, look, like, I told you. Like, can you cook something? I told you. Can you, you want, open you up a cookbook? Cook. Can you open up recipes.com on your phone and go look up I how to cook I got you. Just tell me when. Set, set, YouTube, up the day, yo. set up the date and time. I got you. We'll move on to the next question. That kind of got, like, a personal question. That kind of got spicy. We need spot-on answers. Remember, a lot Those of guys... Those were... I gave them answers. multiple answers. Okay, okay, okay. I gave them multiple answers. Okay. If you don't have a driver's license also, that's a no. What's the best feature on a guy? Um... Their smile. Their teeth. Like teeth. Yeah, for sure. That's the best feature. If your teeth are done, I'm sorry. Now you can be fine, but when you open up your mouth, like, bro, no. I'm pretty sure other females are going to say the same thing, like, your teeth. No. Think, I mean, thinking about it, just from a guy's standpoint, I mean, like, if you mix I mean, up with a girl, she's person, fine, like, and then her teeth is just all yeah, messed up. Yeah, I can't. Uh, you open the mouth, it's like, hey. Like, it's yeah, missing nah. teeth, like, just everything. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. I feel like teeth and breath. If your breath smells like breath ass. Well, I mean, that comes with bad teeth. If, if if you see the person has bad teeth, I mean, what do you think the breath gonna smell like? I'm just saying, I don't know. I mean, hey, it could Shit, be, it could be obvious. Yeah. His teeth. It could be obvious too. You just never mm -hmm. know nowadays. Who should take care of mortgage or rent? The guy, the woman, or both? Oh, how did I know you were going to ask this question? You didn't know I was going to so ask this So, I question. feel like it definitely just depends on the couple or the relationship. But I feel that a guy should definitely take care of that part. I say that the guy should definitely take part in that for sure. Like, all of it. And, like, the woman just help with, like, the utilities or, like, you know, just something else. A part of something. I feel like, you know, like... If you're not able to take care of like a household for you and your family, then I feel like you just need to take a couple steps back and rethink everything. I feel like you shouldn't even be trying to split anything with your woman or have her pay for really too much, especially if she's especially if she's like your your children, the mother of your children or your wife or something like then the woman can just pay for everything herself then and what does she need you for? I can't wait to ask that for the group question too because everyone, every, I believe everybody looks at that differently. So, mm -hmm. I'm not going to dive in deep, we're going to leave that right there. If you can't take care of the rent for you and your family, like, but then you expect them to get smacked every night, like, how does that make any, how does that make any sense? Can you date a guy who can't cook at all? 
I mean, I already am. <laughs> I already I am. Oh, Bro, yeah. I can wait. cook, dude. Do women like it bushy down there or trimmed or waxed? <laughs> waxed. <laughs> no, I'm just playing. Um, I mean, it doesn't really matter. So, what would be the best? <laughs> I mean, you can't have like a... In the, in the jungle type thing. So, Why not? I don't know. What's wrong with it? What, what like, if people like having jungles? I mean, then that's what you like, but that's like doing a little bit too much. Like, you have to take care of yourself. I mean, yeah, when you say jungle, you're talking like you can, like, like it's lifting up your underwear. Like a, a cockroach going to get stuck in there. Oh, my God. If a cockroach can <laughs> get stuck in there, there's a problem. Yeah. A cockroach going to get stuck in there. It's something. So it don't matter, though. So, like, bushy or trimmed or waxed, everything is cool. Yeah, I I can't do that wax stuff. I I do my trim. I I keep I keep all my stuff to a trim. That's it. I can't do the wax. No, like bald, bald, <laughs> bald. Do women judge us guys if we smash on the first date? Dude, you can't ask the same question that I did for mine. What's up? I want to hear it. It's a this is vice versa though. This is a guy. I mean, obviously, God, yes, we're going to automatically think that that's all you guys are trying to do. And, like, that's the turn off for us. Also, but some girls, also we can't, it's, uh, how you say it, we can't express our sexuali sexualization. Babe, but it's or? like, it's like a, a high statistic that you guys do that. Because you guys cannot control yourself. Who said so, it's like, a high statistic? I'm, statistic. I'm pretty Who sure you that? should go look it Google? up. Go find a fact. Google said that. Something. So we're supposed to believe that. I'm just saying, babe. You know what I'm talking about. 9.9 .9 out of 10 times is on the guys. And there's definitely a, a percent of women that do express themselves Now you like know that. someone's going to say no. It's going to be opposite. I right? mean, they can say no. That's just my opinion. I because think, every guy, I think when I go somewhere, they be like, oh, I'm going to be honest. Oh, I think it's 50-50 oh. between women. And we're both, I, I think it's 50-50. I mean, if you think it's 50-50, then you think it's 50-50. Well, y'all heard it. Yes, <laughs> they are judging. So be careful to pick the f woman's mind a little bit. See if they was smashed first. I mean, I'm mean, i saying you gotta, you gotta, like, y'all just come off top and just be like, y'all just come off top. That depends but on it's the like, guy. damn, like, can, can you even, like, have a conversation with somebody? Like, you don't even want to have a conversation. It's just like... You're just so eager, like, you don't even care what the person looks like, like, you guys don't even care. That's the nasty thing about it. And especially with all these diseases going on out here, bro, that's disgusting. Do women judge a guy off their finances? Yes. Okay. We definitely do. Unless, like, we've known, like, your... Unless we've known... You know your situation as to how you you know where you are today mm -hmm. then i feel like we definitely are gonna judge you as like a hundred percent i see that I, because I see. if we don't know like if something like literally happened or like mentally or something's going on like to put you into a lower financial standpoint then we definitely would understand but if not and you don't have you're just making excuses then mm -mm. All right, so this last question is, can you date a guy whose sex game is whack? Oh, that's not what I thought you were going to ask. But, um, I mean, I feel like that maybe because of the lack of experience or the lack of, you know, he hasn't really been with someone too long or been with too many people. I feel like that's a good thing more so than a bad thing i feel like because if the woman knows more or like not that she's been more active or anything like that but just mentally and i feel like she can definitely like teach him or you know they can experiment and like you know do things that you know he doesn't know about and stuff like that but i mean like if there's some, some type of problem where you're not catching on or like you're not even trying to learn, then I feel like there's something maybe with your sexual orientation that's going on. So I feel like definitely if that's going on with you and your partner, then I feel like that's something that you guys need to talk about. Because if someone does have, is, is like, you know, on the lower side with everything, knowledgeable about stuff, then I feel like that's the that's a problem. So y'all heard it, man. She, she, she was definitely spot on. She actually 
gave more examples and opinions and stuff too from the female side so i mean that's how it was like if if you have more experience than a girl like you're gonna show your girl new stuff yeah true or you're gonna teach your so girl new what if, stuff what if, so like if she's what if like the guy's like super successful i'm sorry guys what if the guy's like super successful super sweet but just like doesn't know how to throw it down I'm saying that's why you show him how to throw it down and show him what you want to, want to do. Okay. And if he's still not doing it, then there's obviously, obviously he doesn't like to do that with you. So <laughs> it's mean, a problem. I mean, yeah, yeah. We're going to wrap it up right here. I can't wait for the group discussion for this video. That's going to be so lit. I really want to have like five people. Or more if we can. But we definitely got to mix it up. Uh, like we have, to do, we have to do guy questions and female questions at the same time. <laughs> You are tired. <laughs> Appreciate you guys always watching our videos. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. We'll see you guys in our next video.